اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ائی ویلکم یو آل ان اور ٹوڈیز آن لائن سیشن وی اسٹارٹ ٹوڈیز سیشن وتھ دی ورسز اف ہولی قران so our previous session we were discuss about the scalar and vector quantities scalar and vector quantities so i am sharing my screen with you guys today we have the lecture on measuring instruments so measuring instruments are those instruments or tools by which we measure the magnitudes of our physical quantities so in the picture you can see this is the scale having different kind of uh, magnitudes in length in inches in meters in centimeters by which you can represent that particular entity and measure the particular entity by its magnitude so we can measure the length by the meter rule from 1 cm to 100 cm so even measured accurately to 0.1 cm even also from this particular meter rule and now in the next slide we are discussing about the two most important and co common length measuring height breadth width measuring instruments are vernier caliper and other one is the micrometer screw gauge by the name of its vernier caliper uh this one to measure a particular object a minute particular object to measure its length breadth and height to, and uh, be using its jaws to place that object there and read out its reading in this scale now we are talking about the micrometer screw gauge it's a particular device which can measure or provide the length of a particular object in some kind of gauge so this is the is a tightening part of the screw gauge by which we place an object in in between its rod <coughs> so these are the two instruments which can measure the length breadth height and gauges of a particular object which we need to measure which we need to calibrate some kind of things uh, uh, which is vernier caliper readings screw gauge readings we are uh, measuring and represent by this way sometimes we measured the quantity having some kind of errors so we need to remove that error sometimes that error error having uh, some of types one uh, some uh, one is the zero error second one is the instrument error calibration error so these errors can be compensated through the modification packing and other kind of things to remove the error even also from its reading with the error we cannot 
get the accurate and consistent reading. So it is the most important that to remove error from its measuring tool. So if we talk about the accuracy, if we place the value, real value, the real value in this scenario is the center part. If we get the value far away from its real value, then we can say it's less accurate. And if we get the value near the real value, then we can say that particular point would be more accurate. And this one is less accurate. Why it's more accurate? Because it is near from its real value. So this is all about the accuracy. That how much accurate your instrument, how much provide its value with error-free reading. So how close a measured value to the real value it tells that how much accurate your instrument or equipment which provide the accurate reading towards you in sense of less accurate, in sense of more accurate. Now further we moving towards the sensitivity. Sensitivity is the ability to detect the small changes in measuring physical quantities. So in this a scale measurement of rule, you can say that that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these are the sum of sets of intervals in counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in less sensitive because we need to understand that if our reading lie in between 1 and 2, that would be 1.2, that would be 1.3, that would be 1.8. But we cannot accurately understand the particular exact value that how much we get the value in between 1 to 2. How much the value between 1 to interval? That would be 1.2, that would be 1.4, that would be 1.8. Uh, I think आप इसको समझ रहे हैं कि हमारी जो reading है वो a 1.4 रही है लेकिन हम पढ़ से 1.6 रहे हैं अब इसमें error जो है वो 0.2 का आ रहा है तो इसका मतलब ये जो reading हमें इस तरह मिल रही है without the accurate intervals in between one and two it is less accurate exact value reading नहीं मिल रही इसे less sensitive less sensitivity कहा जाता है इसके निस्बत अगर आप more sensitive को देखें तो इसमें intervals जो हैं one and two के दरमियान वो मौजूद हैं अब अगर आपको one point two चाहिए और one point eight चाहिए या one point six चाहिए आप यहाँ से exact reading ले सकते हैं with the reference of your point out point क्योंकि इसमें intervals मौजूद हैं तो अब ये scale हुआ more sensitive बनिस्बत less sensitive के so that's how we understand the sensitivity. जैसा कि मैं बता रहा था कि systems के अंदर जो भी हमारे tool होते हैं, measuring equipments होते हैं, all almost have some kind of little bit error. That would be systematic error. That would be human error. That would be random error. So अगर आप systematic error को देखें तो बाज दफा इनके जीरो जो हैं वो ऊपर नीचे एक जगह नहीं होते तो इसमें जीरो एरर कहलाता है जिसको हम करेक्ट कर सकते हैं बाय यूजिंग पैकिंग बाय यूजिंग मॉडिफिकेशन इसी तरीके से ये एरर प्लस में भी हो सकता है एरर माइनस में भी हो सकता है ये तो हो गया सिस्टमैटिक एरर जो कि सिस्टम के अंदर आता है उसको मेजर करते हुए रैंडम एरर जो है वो ह्यूमन एरर के सेंस में भी आता है कि आप एक ग्रेडिंग पढ़ रहे हैं जो कि एक्यूरेट आएगी अगर आप उसे उसकी लाइन ऑफ साइड में पढ़ेंगे एग्जैक्ट डायरेक्शन में लेकिन वो गलत आ सकती है अगर आप उसे 
उस रीडिंग के राइट साइड से पढ़ने लगे तो उसकी रीडिंग वॉयलेट कर सकती है इसी तरीके से अगर उसको लेफ्ट साइड से पढ़े आप ऑब्वियसली तो वो वॉयलेट करेगी आपको एग्जैक्ट करेक्ट रीडिंग नहीं मिलेगी उससे तो ये लाजिम व मलजूम बात है कि जब भी आप एक्यूरेट रीडिंग चाहते हैं एरर फ्री रीडिंग चाहते हैं जिसमें ह्यूमन एरर ना हो रैंडम एरर ना हो तो उसे एक्यूरेटली रीड करने के लिए लाइन ऑफ साइट के अंदर देखें तो आपको एक्यूरेट रीडिंग करेक्ट यहाँ से मिल सकती है अदरवाइज अगर आप उसे राइट लेफ्ट से देखेंगे लाइन ऑफ साइट में नहीं देखेंगे 